Hey guys and welcome back to another Disney Heroes video and today I want to be going over my favourite team and I just want to apologise for the um, mic quality being a bit bad the, the good headset I had is unfortunately broken so I've fallen to a bad one but I'm going to get another one sorted out as soon as possible but it's not too bad, you can still hear me right so let's get straight into my team These, this is my five characters this, this isn't necessarily a guide, I just want to share with you why I use these five, six, I guess six, so I've always just want to swap out, but I, I want to cover the five I use. And no matter what, I, I lead with Nick. I always have Nick in my team. And I want you guys to comment your top five characters, and in that I mean not necessarily your top five Disney favourite characters, but on who do you use? Who are your five characters you do every campaign with, every arena with, blah, blah, blah. So I use Nick for, for DPS. And that's because his skill, uh, Lemming Rush here, does so much damage. And he's absolutely incredible for City Watch on any difficulty. Uh, will, that, will that be hard or normal? When he, sta when he gets his five lemmings out, when he does the lemming rush, it's game over for every single person. But I will have to say, he does struggle on arena mode, because he can't get to his five lemmings, so it, he's not as effective. But because I've upgraded his um, friendship badge quite a bit, his um, charm lasts 24% longer. So when he hits an enemy with charm, you're absolutely laughing, you've got another teammate. So it is good, and that's why I use him as my main damage character. And then I have Zerg as my second damage character. And now I know I talk very, very highly about Zerg. And if you've seen my meme videos, you know that Zerg is the best. And unfortunately, to get his disc, you need Rex. And now you all know how much I hate Rex, because he's, so, he's just so squishy. So the issue I have here is that um, Zerg struggling because I need his friendship badge to push him up and because I haven't got that friendship badge when you do arena mode or anything else he struggles against tanks a little bit so when I get the friendship badge it will allow him to do 50% more damage to tanks and it shreds because I've hired one of my mates teammates with it before from the guild absolutely shreds and now the main reason I have Zerg because I always think in games like this you've got to have one character who's absolutely squishy so basically he dies straight away and you can tell that because his health is trash so he's got 23,000 health when Nick's a damage roll and he's got 35,000 he like Zerg can die in two hits in this game but the good thing is his, um, his skill where he shoots all those bullets like an absolute nutter which is um, that one, which is his first skill, it's, it's mental like when I first unlocked him just out of a normal diamond chest I was absolutely you know, over the moon, he's so good so if, if I back out of that and um, all his other moves, I don't know, I don't really bother with any of them. But that one's good because when he uses his machine gun move, he gets his energy back up and he can use it again. So if you time it skillfully, so if you take it off auto, which I know is asking a lot, but if you take it off auto and you, you make sure you never use this skill when there's one enemy left, you will always have a special move for every single day. Uh, for every single round because every time he hits an enemy his energy goes up so you can keep chaining it but you've got to be careful with the timings and not to do it when someone's nearly dead at the end of a round and then we go on to Sully who's my favourite tank in the game because number one is Sully and Boo and they're lit but his first move scares everyone and when they're scared which is crazy, because when you scare them, so once again, you, sh if you shouldn't really play this game on auto, because you can time stuff here. So what you do is you use Sully's roar, 
scare them, use Zerg's machine gun bullets, crits. So then they're scared and they take a lot of damage and then they're being critted by every single one of Zerg's shots. And if you were to chain up with someone like Woody, you could speed Zerg up after they've got crit chances and everybody's gone. And, that, and obviously his healing laughter, it is ridiculous ridiculously overpowered like a lot of, if you guys have been following my friendship uh, mission uh, playthrough you'll see that normally it's just Sully at the end and he just does the whole last round on his own because he's crazy and obviously whilst I'm playing these friendship missions I, I tell you guys to follow along but it could be difficult because I mean I am level 83 and I have got Sully to level 83 and all his skills to level 83 as you can see here so it does allow me to solo quite a bit of him and um, his toy tantrum is unreal as well you're doing like 12,000 damage to 20,000 damage a block and when it's a 1v1 that's three hits of you know 10 to 20k damage your enemy's gone and his friendship disc is absolutely mental as well but obviously I, I haven't unlocked it yet unfortunately but you can see there Oh no, sorry, wrong one, there. So number one good thing about this, it increases his skill damage, which means the blocks do more damage, the scream does more damage, and he heals more. And then you thought, oh well, I can't get better than that. And then the, the actual ability on this badge, uh, healing laughter, it heals allies for 20%. That's mental. So when he does the um, raw move, uh, the heal, healing laughter, everybody heals. So there's a possibility that when you get that to a good enough star level, which is the only which I'm going to work on for like the rest of my time I play this game, is every single mission I'm ever going to be doing is always going to be one of Sully's. So I can get that up, because I reckon you could probably get that to 50%. And then there's the potential that you could get rid of Yaks and put another DPS character in. But yeah, that's why I use Sully. And then that's my team. That's my team of five. And then on backup, I like to have Calhoun on backup because she's a really good DPS character and she is in a lot of friendship missions. A lot of friendship missions. But you can see my top here. Obviously I've got Yaks as well, but I don't need to cover Yaks. You all know that you kind of have to have him because he's the only healer, unfortunately. So I hope you've enjoyed me just reviewing my top five characters. Um, I hope you subscribe, like, this video and I want you guys to comment do you guys want me to help you with anything do you need any guides do you need me to explain anything or do you just want me give me suggestions on what you want me to do to help you thanks for watching and subscribe for more